What's up guys and welcome to the show. So this is the AEW uh, Wrestling Rant Show. We're just going to talk about a little bit about the AEW uh, rant on it a little bit. Nothing new uh, coming uh, out uh, in this video today. Just going to talk about a little bit of things going on uh, in the AEW world. What people are talking about. That whole thing and just kind of rant on it a little bit. Give it my two cents. Why? Because that's why. Uh, so basically... Um, uh, Christian from uh, former WWE uh, wrestler turned uh, Impact wrestler and so on uh, was asked about the uh, AEW promotion and uh, what the AEW needs to do and so on and so, so forth. Basically uh, what he said was that uh, what went wrong with uh, Impact was that they were too focused on what WWE was doing. Uh, instead of being more focused on what they were doing and their plans, they were too focused on competing and too set on competing with the WWE, which is why uh, they ended up, you know, going under and having a little bit of uh, trouble there. Uh, he, was, he basically stated that AEW really needs to focus on its own thing, do its own thing, not really worry about what uh, other uh, promotions uh, like the WWE uh, are doing they just basically need to do their own thing and I totally agree it seems like right now <coughs> uh, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks and everybody are a little too focused and a little too uh, determined to compete with uh, WWE that they I, I could see this going really bad for them in the way that they don't seem too focused on what they're doing they seem more focused on uh, signing big names and getting big contracts out and spending all this money and stuff that they're not really uh, too focused on what they're doing um, as opposed to just basically wanting to compete and so on. So uh, I think that they just need to pull it in a little bit. They just need to uh, shut the doors a little bit and just worry about what they're doing and not worry about competing, not worry about WWE, not really worry about you know, signing the big names, just, you know, focus on what you got, focus on what's going on with you, focus, you know what I mean? Uh, so, I don't know. I hope it goes good for AWS, uh, anyway. But also in um, uh, news as a potential, maybe signing uh, Jack Swagger. Uh, I was also interviewed about the AEW co uh, company. Now, of course, Jack Swagger is... Um, currently under contract with uh, Lucha Underground uh, as well as uh, Bellator MMA so he can't really uh, go over to AEW but he has stated that once his contracts are up that he would like to uh, go over and he would be interested in working uh, alongside Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks in AEW that he would like to compete uh, in the AEW company now this is a guy who I would like to see in this company this is a guy that I would I think would do really well he's he's a pretty big guy I think he would do really well uh, with the AEW roster I think he would fit in right at home Definitely a better fit for him than uh, Lucha Underground, uh, for sure, uh, definitely. Uh, Young Bucks, uh, definitely, um, they, uh, Young Bucks came out and they stated that they are going to um, MGM Grant, uh, I think, I believe today or tomorrow, uh, to see uh, the venue, to check everything out, to make the last minute preparations for uh, the Double or Nothing show coming up. So. Hopefully uh, we can expect big things uh, from that show, like uh, they're doing their prepping and everything like that already for the show. So it's it's definitely going to be pretty good and I'm definitely really excited for it. Now uh, in an interview, uh, Triple H uh, was asked about AEW. He basically stated that um, him uh, and the company of WWE are keeping their eye on uh, AEW. They're, uh, listening to the news on it, they're keeping their eye on things on them, as he stated that they do for all of their competition, not just uh, for uh, AEW, but they do that for ROH and uh, all their other uh, competing companies as well. Uh, they're not too worried about how they're doing their business or what they're doing in their business, they're just more focused on what uh, the WWE is doing, like, like what they're doing as a business and stuff, which is what should be. I mean, you don't really want to focus too much on other companies you just really want to focus on your own company and, and help build it up but Vince McMahon has came out and stated that um, he was really down about uh, losing a couple talents to uh, ROH he lost Bandito who came from CMLL 
Uh, originally, he was going to sign with uh, Vince McMahon and the WWE, but instead he ended up turning around and signing with ROH. Uh, again, um, WWE lost another contract with uh, Rush. Rush, uh, of course, came from uh, CMLL, AAA, uh, Mexican uh, wrestling. Uh, he ended up uh, signing with ROH, but he was going to sign with WWE, but he took the ROH offer instead because of this is happening more and more. Um, Vince has decided to offer uh, wrestlers uh, double contracts. So basically what it means is if you go out and you get a con uh, an offer from a company like ROH or AEW or somewhere else, you bring that offer to WWE and they're going to double the offer. Uh, but of course you only have a limited time to accept that offer before they take it off the table. I think it's, I think it's just the day like he'll give you the offer uh, you can't take that offer anywhere like you basically have to say yes or no right then and there and uh, if you say no of course that offer is gone and then you have to sign with somebody else but I think it's a good idea I mean it kind of just shows you that uh, the level of frustration that Vince McMahon is going through not only with AEW but with uh, everybody uh, you know signing the people that he wants and stuff like that but I think he's realizing that uh, you know people don't really need to go uh, to him to really make it in the in the business um, a lot of wrestlers and a lot of uh, people uh, have been asking for outs uh, sorry about that guys my camera ended up dying but like I was saying a lot of uh, wrestlers who are asking uh, for the, to be released from their contracts from the WWE reportedly to possibly sign with the AEW because uh, everybody's liking what the AEW is offering them some of the names that uh, I include is Sasha Banks uh, has been reportedly uh, Ty Dillinger has been uh, asking for an out uh, Dolph Ziggler uh, Mike and Maria uh, and this guy definitely can't pronounce his name I'm not too familiar with him but Andre I believe his name is um, those reportedly some people who have been asking uh, out for outs of their contract reportedly to sign with AEW uh, I definitely would like to see some of those names uh, Dolph Ziggler is one of them that probably will end up getting that out I mean I can't see really um, Vince or anybody upping the contracts for certain Sasha Banks I would be surprised if uh, if they actually gave him the release uh, AJ Styles is another one that uh, uh, has, has been asking for his release but of course AJ Styles I believe is rather is going to retire he stated that uh, after his run after his contract is out he's going to retire but you, you, you never know but anyway that's just the uh, it for me today so don't forget to like comment, subscribe you know love very much and I'll check you on the next video